before we begin, thank you very much to Joseph S. for joining the Patreon campaign over at patreon.com forward slash TJ Omega. Guys, thank you so much for the for hitting 42,000 subscribers, which is kind of crazy. As someone who was stuck at 36,000 for so long and just seeing the response and how many more people are hitting the subscribe button now since I've begun this push has been absolutely amazing. It's what keeps me energized. Is what keeps me going. Uh, at 45,000, I want to do a giveaway. I know what it will be, but I don't know how to go about it, so i got to look into it a little bit first. So, yeah, if you want me to start handing out free stuff, I think I'm going to do it every 5,000 subscribers. So take that with what you will, and uh, let us continue with today's video. Today, I had a thought in my head, which was... If you look at my collection lately, which you can't because I haven't done a collection video in so long, uh, I find myself buying a lot more vintage stuff, the kind of stuff I grew up with or wish I always had, and not opening it. I think seeing all these retro toys around me at this toy shop every week, you know, every day I work here, I think it's just kind of made me appreciate just how cool it is to see like an entire like shelves full of vintage stuff unopened. Like the way I could have only seen it at a store when I was a kid. So there's an appeal there to me now, at least with some stuff where it's more interesting in box than it is out of box. But hey, mint in box collecting is super expensive. So I, I want to find out what kind of mint in seal box collector can I be? while also being as cheap as possible. Now, now the easy answer is, like, we'll just buy new stuff at the store right now and don't open it. You know, that's the cheapest you can go. But that's not impressive. You want good stuff. You know, you want, you know, char you, know you want classic stuff, characters and things that you have not seen on a store shelf in forever. You want to look impressive. Because what's the point of being mint in sealed box if you're not showing it off and just being, like, a... Uh, kind of pompous about it, let's frankly. So let's find out what it takes to be a Minton Sealbox collector with classic figures, some of the more popular sets, and just find out how cheap is MISB. Which, by the way, if your Minton Sealbox G1 toys uh, are only 65 bucks and they look this sharp and this clean, it's a fake! I don't care if it's sold in the US. It's a fake, and it's an obvious fake. Don't buy it when it looks too good, period. All right, let's start with something easy. Let's do animated. Let's see what the cheapest Mint and Seal Box animated toy is. Okay, okay Deluxe Elite Guard Bumblebee is already there. It's already only 40 bucks. That's not too bad for, for this, but we'll go to price and shipping lowest first because we are cheap. And the cheapest animated release is from Universe 2.0. <laughs> And it's a Legends class Starscream. Actually, no, no, no. This is actually animated. This is animated Starscream. Uh, yeah. Done in this really weird way how Universe 2.0 got to release uh, Legends class toys because animated didn't have Legends class, except it did. So technically, yes, this counts. And even then, even then, look at that. We're looking about 23 bucks. 23 bucks for that little tiny thing. What about like an actual figures? <laughs> Not an activator. Not an activator Grimlock. Fire Blast Grimlock. No, no, no. We want like a proper deluxe. What's a proper deluxe? Okay. Snarl. Snarl. $32 shift. All right. So if we want Minted Seal Box animated, Snarl's as cheap as we can get, which is unfortunate. Like Snarl, I, Snarl, I know, is seen as like a black sheep of the toy line. I still think the figure's fine. It's just not as fine as everything else. Uh, it doesn't help that it has a weird transformation that the instructions get wrong. And, that I, and it took a lot of fiddling and finagling to actually figure out how that uh, Triceratops head was supposed to flatten out in robot mode. It takes you a while, but it does work eventually. All right, so not terribly shocking there. Just out of curiosity, like how long does it take before we get to like a major character that is like unadulterated? Uh, 43 for Cybertronian Ratchet is actually not bad. Um, Sentinel Prime. Sentinel Prime, just straight up normal Sentinel Prime. Uh, $37 and 11.60 shipping. 
So I, I get, and then Soundwave is 50 bucks. So if you want characters with name value that are like at least deluxe class, okay, you're around that $50 range. So let's keep that in mind. And we will go to the 2007 movie line and we'll see how cheap they get. Okay, the Legends class there, considerably cheaper than the animated ones. But once again, we need at least a deluxe. You know, we're, we want... We also looks impressive and nice on a shelf. Okay, so the All Spark Power Bumblebee, twenty nine ninety nine and nine twelve ship thing. I mean, it's it's a it's the black repaint of Bumblebee. I mean, this is not a bad mold. It's not a bad mold. So if you want a more if you want a darker color color scheme for Bumblebee, no, uh, no, it's not bad at all. Let's see, I got the Target exclusive Jazz and that weird canister. Rescue Ratchet, the Voyager. Wow, the Voyager is actually like. I'm once again scrolling down until I hit a major character that's just like un like unmeddled with. And I guess Deluxe Brawl is the only is the one that comes closest to counting. And again, we're in that fifty dollar range. So apparently, to be a mint in seal box collector, you have to spend at least fifty bucks. Also, that Voyager Megatron is also fifty bucks. That'll tell you what people think of that. And yes, I've heard the requests for that toy. So. Animated 07 movie. Okay, fine. All right. So what about a those are popular toy lines that aren't terribly old yet um, So what about what if we go to? Uh, hmm, how about we go to a less popular toy line? How about that? Let's see what it takes to be a mint and seal box beast machines collector where the lowest one is, oh my god, the Beast Riders. Oh, I for, oh, I didn't forget about them. I did not forget about them. But they're like the dumbest things in the world. If you didn't know, in Beast Machines, for a while, they sold toy chariots that looked like Megatron and Cheetor's Beast Mode heads. That was a thing they thought would sell. And apparently, even now, no one wants it because at $21 shipped, Mechatron is still here, and Che is right down here, not far below it. I do have a couple of these I meant to do for Plastic Addict, but like, how much how much material can I get out of two chariots? Two chariots that don't fit the characters they're designed after. For main toys, Mirage is here, 22 shipped. Once again, let's find a deluxe. <laughs> No, it can't it can't be snarl again. It can't be snarl again. No. I'm sorry, Snarl. Is that, okay, to be fair, it's not a triceratops this time. It's a lion, but it's a gold plastic lion, so I kind of understand. What is that no. Oh we can't just have this the snarl episode. Also. Supreme Cheetor is going for less than Deluxe, than the Mega Cheetor. Oh, that's funny and appropriate. Does not shock me. It does not shock me that, uh, Mega, that, uh, Supreme... Oh, no, 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 I thought this was Supreme Cheetor. Wait, wait. That is Supreme Cheetor. They got it listed wrong. So, keep in mind, as old as Beast Machines is getting, uh... Cheetor was 50 bucks when it was released. This person only won 61.50, shipping included. So basically, exactly what it would have cost back then. <laughs> this, okay, I will tell you the one that hurts here. Oh wow, Rat Trap for 80 dollars and 13 12.58 shipping. I remember when Big Bad was giving those away for like three bucks. It was like super, super dirt cheap because no, they were overstocked and nobody wanted them. Now it's an $80 toy? Yeesh! Not that that's actually what it goes for. It's just what they're asking. This is the one that hurts because I lost. Oh, no, no, no. That's why it's expensive. It's autographed. This is autographed by David Kay. And it's still the cheapest Beast Machines Megatron on eBay. What? 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 <laughs> Does that make sense? I need to get a hold of a Beast Machines Megatron again. I lost mine, and I had a big Plastic Addict episode devoted to it. One that I still want to finish one day, if I can, but I need that toy. So I don't know what happened to mine. It's like, literally, I don't ever lose toys except that one. 
All right, all right. Popular line. Let's see what's the cheapest you what's the cheapest you can get Beast Wars toys for. No surprise that Skarim is one of the ones that I find first. Yeah, that one was an easy find at a toy shop. Uh, Optimus Minor as well, and of course Minor comes up next. Uh, hello, we have a history, don't we? Uh, Stink Bomb as well. Thirty-four shipped is not bad. All right, let's let's go. Okay. Uh, well, okay. So, if we want a mint and seal box or mint on card uh, Beast Wars toy, we have to get the Japanese Buzzsaw, which is kind of ironic that the imported version is the cheapest deluxe on eBay. I just got a loose one of this figure. I like Buzzsaw. I like his colors. All right, no, no, no more. Nanomorph! Get the Animorph out of here. I'm still looking for, like, a proper, like, U.S. release deluxe, in which we're getting into uh, Transmetals now, and Pterosaur, uh, the Fox Kids Dinobot. You know, we're in that upper 60, low 70 range now. That, yeah, Beast Wars ain't cheap. Beast Wars ain't cheap. There's a reason I went to Orlando just to start pillaging for good deals on sealed beast wars toys i do want to add to my sealed beast wars collection but at these prices maybe not just yet i might wait and see if i can find it somewhere else or see if anything i remember getting silver bolt i i got a mint on card silver bolt once upon a time for like 15 bucks and that was well after beast wars had come out i think that was around like cybertron movies movie era uh, yeah, 140, technically 150. Whew. Not shocking for a popular character in the show. Whew. What else can we do? I, I don't want to try Transformers Prime because good luck getting that to actually, uh, get, good luck getting that to want to come up under everything else that's Prime in Transformers. Mm, how about my favorite line? Right, I have to leave the minus reissue in there. Let's see what Cybertron's doing right now. Of course, that was also going to be uh, difficult to do because, yeah, anything War for Cybertron. We do have some Legends class for about sixteen shipped. That's not bad. Um, come on, I, I need to, like a proper Cybertron Deluxe, and I, I it can't be War for Cybertron. Actually, this. This is going to take too long, so let's go Minus War Deluxe. And the cheapest one is Runamuck! Of course, it's Armada Sideswipe. One of the worst toys I've ever played with. And it's Remold, which admittedly is better, but still terrible. Cheapest one you can get. I got Buzzsaw recently. Whoa! Okay, um, that... 43 results, but only showed three, and they're all run amok. And then it immediately took me down to, like, international. And wait, wait, wait. eBay, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you showing me 43 results, and you only show me four items? No. And do not tell me those are all of the... Please don't tell me those, are all... those aren't all of the Cybertron toys that are available on eBay right now. That would be ridiculous. All right, can I get some? Can I get some other range here? Yeah, they're 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 there again. There they are again. Um, come on, there's you know Fall of Cybertron. Oh, there we go. There we go. There are more. Transformer Cybertron Excelion. Forty dollars and eight dollars shipping. That's not shocking whatsoever. Love that toy still. And those, that's actually the better color scheme. Yeah, I'm not... God, there's so many things. There's so many, why are animated toys coming up? All right, all right. So, okay, so that's the cheapest you can get a Cybertron figure for. And the any kind of in-show cast is buried somewhere. Okay, last one. And it's the obvious one. It's G1. Now, here's the thing. We need to get rid of... Uh, reissue and we need to get rid of uh oh what else would they call it they wouldn't, they wouldn't call it knockoff because that would get them in trouble i guess i'll just have to narrow it down 
Oh, no, no, no. This is going to be too much. It's going to be too much. Um, what I need is the word vintage. And uh, See, and there we go. Reissue. No, no, no. I thought that would... It's not vintage if it's a reissue, you morons. Stop lying to people. Okay, uh, okay. Jeez, this, this, this one's a... This one's frustrating. This one's frustrating. <laughs> I'm just trying to... Now it's giving me all the Walmart exclusive uh, Headmaster reissues. And those are the Titans Return reissues. All right, so the best we got, the best we got here. Let's see, here is another reissue. It's, there's the Walmart exclusive reissue. Apparently that's up to 250 bucks. Jeez. But we do have some actual results. The cheapest mint on sealed box, mint on sealed card, mint in sealed box G1 toy available on eBay is a twin twist at $153, followed shortly by a flywheels, who I think is one of the worst G1 Transformers at $200 and $10 shipping. So if you want to be a mint in sealed box collector for G1, you're in for a pretty penny no matter what. And then, like, if you get into, like, real characters here, like, look at, like, how fast it goes up. $410 for kickback. Uh, Tantrum, 420 Why are there so many sealed kickbacks on eBay? But you get the idea. You get the idea. If you want authentic and real, if you want impressive, oh, boy, is it going to cost you. And the scary thing is, those prices are way higher than the last time I checked, which was years ago. So keep that in mind. This stuff only gets worse with age. So if you want to be a mint in box collector, start now or it's just going to get worse. All right, that'll do it for me today. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for sticking around. And again, thank you so much for all of the people who hit the subscribe button. Uh, keep in mind, it, is, it seems like a small gesture, but the like and the subscribe is extremely important. I thank you for doing it. And... As always, you guys support, and I will keep going. And you guys, uh, you guys are still here, so I will see you for another video tomorrow. Until then. Guys, I am facing the most powerful enemy any YouTuber can face, the algorithm, and I need your help to defeat him. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. Every time you do, we attack that algorithm, and we drive it back until it can no longer defeat this channel. Thank you very much.